another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host, VX King Pen XV. Today we're gonna jump right into it. Today is um, more of a. It's not. It has nothing to do with a chapter. Uh, you know, I, if you please go back and watch chapter five ninety four, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know what I what I'm expressing, and you know one of the things that it recaps is. Is Naruto, is he, is he, has he surpassed the other Hokages? And based off the current battle, the situation, based off what we know about the other Hokages, I would have to say yes. Um, none of the other Hokages, not even the first Hokage, ever had to go against um, the ten tail beast. Uh, you know, the legend of the Tintel Beast. I mean, the progenitor, uh, as they may say, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end. I mean, he is in a legendary battle at the age of, what, 17? Uh, with Kakashi, which is going to go down as a legend. With Mike Guy, which is going to go down as a legend. And Killer B, which is going to go down as a legend. But we all know that the Nine Tails is stronger than the Eight Tails. So... Just forget Naruto being the the lead on the story. He is the lead character when it comes to fighting. He's jumping out there first. He's out there to the umpteenth degree. So I want you guys to follow me on this because think about it like this. You had the first Hokage whose greatest adversary was Madera Uchiha. And right now Madera is back. And he's part of the fourth great ninja war. And... He is a force to reckon with because he has unlimited chakra, unlimited jutsu, and he can't die right now. Um, so he's back, and eventually, maybe Naruto might have to face him, maybe not. But Toby has become a force to reckon with. Or, spoiler alert, make sure you know, watch uh, Chapter 594, or maybe possibly Obito. Uh, it's one of the strongest, maybe he's an Uchiha, Uchiha ever to live. Um, even surpasses Madeira and when it comes to strength, scheming, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And right now, then you have the second Okage, which we, he died based off, you know, leaving Danzo and the third Okage to live and whatever. So he, he has no legendary status other than that. He fought beside the first Hokage in many battles before what made him a legend. And he's the creator of the Edo Tensei. Okay, boom, done. You have the third Hokage who defeated and helped defeat uh, the Nine Tail Beast. You know, the one that Naruto controls right now. The one he's in uh, cahoots with, best friends, whatever. And then you have the fourth Hokage who went against Tobi uh, and sort of kind of the Nine Tail Beast and defeated him. And then you have all of this, the past generations, enemies coming back into Naruto's generation as a collective, as a whole. Throw in some other things that have been happening with his personal life and the personal strength of Sasuke, whatever's going on. You gotta admit that right now, unfortunately, the story, whether they say it or not, Naruto has surpassed all other Hokages before him. And Lady Sanada, she's more of a uh, official representative. She's strong, but she really doesn't have legendary uh, status other than within the medical field, which we all know we don't care about that. I mean, she helped that boy Rock Lee out, but you know, we still, she's still not that great of a Hokage. Um, but she's a good leader, firm hand, and sometimes that's what a nation needs. So, if Naruto the shit, you guys let me know. Is, is he is he surpassed every Hokage before him? Has he surpassed his dad? I, I would say yes. I mean, he's taken on a whole lot without having to throw his life away in the process. I mean, he's attempted a couple of times and, you know, things like that. But he's still around. He's 17. He's kicking. He's strong. He's controlling the nine tail of Fox. Now, don't get me wrong. He's had a lot of help along the way. But at this point in time, he has to be able to stand on his own and continue to be the man he needs to be, be the best he needs to be. So at this point in time, I will have to say yes, he is the strongest shinobi or, you know, 
he he has surpassed the all other Hokages before him. You guys leave a comment down below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. And peace.